Well, hi there. So today I'm going to show you how to do um, the lightning ridge in a flat panel. And um, it's um, one of my stitches. Um, I've been developing this for a while and I've got it to right where I like it now. And um, I'm calling it lightning ridge because um, this is zigzagging back here like lightning. And then we have the nice ridge here and it has quite a bit of texture. As you can see, it's got lots of texture and has absolutely no pearls in it. It lays nice and flat and doesn't curl, but you have to do an edge um, that will work with it or your edge would curl. And um, you're welcome to do another kind of edge if you want, even a garter edge. But uh, I created a new edge recently and I'm using it on most of my flat panels and I love it because it's quite adjustable. So if you find it's a little bit tight on your edge and you want it to be a little longer, you can adjust this and uh, so you can make it bigger or smaller and you can make it just fit and match. And um, if, you, if you look here, you can see how nice it's uh, blending in with this stitch here. And on the edge, it has this tight little braided but it's nice and tight, right? Not a loose one like slip stitches. It's just a nice braid. And then on the back side, it, it's like this. It blends into the work. And here's what the stitch looks like on the back. You can really see the lightning zigzags on the back. It's a nice stitch. Then it looks nice, of course, on the other side here. But um, this is a roving yarn, so it has some fat pieces, some thin pieces. So here we've got quite a few of the fat pieces going down the side, but still looks quite nice here. And uh, it looks really nice and braided here on the side. There you go. And uh, so there you go. And this has got um, uh, this is a nice roving yarn. The yarn is Creative Melange Chunky. And it's 50, gee, that's hard for me to read. Uh, 63, I think it says. Boy, that's a little printing. <laughs> but it's got a lot of wool in it, 63% wool, and the rest is acrylic. And it's a roving, and it's not a very thick bulky. It's fairly thin bulky. Um, here's some Brett, James C. Brett, chunky, and it's quite a bit thicker than the one I'm using. So it's a thinner one. It's about like some of the Barcelonas. Okay, so I'm just going to put it back in here. I keep my uh, yarn in a plastic bag. It keeps it from getting dusty. It keeps it from getting tangled up from other things. There. Okay. So to get started, I need to show you how to cast on so you can catch up to me. And and um, I'm likely going to make a scarf, you know. I haven't decided at this point what I'm going to make. It makes a beautiful flat panel. So there's a number of things I could do. If I'd cast it on more stitches, I've cast it on 20 stitches. If I cast it on more, maybe 36, um, 39, I could have had a shawl. But um, I can make a number of things with this flat panel. So I could make it just long enough to be a cowl and then um, bind it off and then attach one end to this end and you know it would go this way on me like a cowl. Or I could make a shorter scarf or I could make a long scarf or an infinity scarf. So I have lots of choices. So I'll decide as I go on but I could it's going to easily make a nice scarf. A nice scarf. It's got, uh, I did a, a crochet chain type of cast on and I'll do a bind off to match it. So you'll decide with me as I go but you can make um, a number of things because you're going to have a nice flat panel that lays flat. Oh, as you can see when I bring it out it's kind of short but I've done quite a few swatches of this to see how it is. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the chain cast on and so that's what I've got this James C. Brett here for. So we just make a slip knot 
and we slip it on. Oh yeah, by the way, the loom, I'm not sure if I told you what the loom was, it's um, three quarter inch gauge, so it's the large gauge, the same as the, the nifty knitter. And um, um, yeah, well, that's all you really need to know. And I, and, and I use 20 pegs. Okay, oh yes, that's the other thing is how to set it up. Before you cast on, <laughs> you're gonna wanna set this up to make it easy. So we're gonna be working in two peg pairs. So these two pegs, one and two, will always be knit together. Three and four will always be knit together. Five and six will always be knit together and all the way along. So you have to have some way to know they're in peg pairs. So what I did is I took this, um, uh, this is a needle knitting stitch marker and it was quite stretchy so I took it and kind of twisted it into a figure eight so I would know that these two pegs go together. And uh, my edge is made up of two pegs. And then I didn't put any marker here, so I know these two go together. And here I've got the blue marker again, so I know these two go together. And so this tells me which ones go together. Okay, so I've got this loom set up to show you how to do the stitch. And then we can go back to my other piece, which uh, um, I am doing the actual scarf on. So I'm going to show you how to cast on how to do the first stitches and how to actually do this. So we make a slip knot and we just put it on the first peg. And I'm using quite a bulky yarn, so we're gonna have a different look. So we'll be able to see what it looks like with a really bulky yarn. This is Mary Maxim Marvelous Yarn. And um, this is a three quarter inch gauge loom. Okay, so we take the loom hook and we put it in the yarn and we scoop up some yarn and we have a nice loop here and we put it behind the next peg and we just take the working yarn and pull it through and snug it up. And we go behind with the loop to the next peg, pull the working yarn through and snug it up. Okay, behind the peg, working yarn through and snug it up. Behind the peg, snug it up. And we just do that all the way to the end. And then we just put this over the last peg and just pull it. And then we just knit it over. Okay. And then we're going to do two rows of owl eye. So we take the working yarn and we're going to go over these two pegs. And then this is going to be called peg one because wherever our working yarn is coming from is peg one. Wrap in front of peg one, in front of peg two, and knit them off. And we keep this nice and loose on peg one, over peg one and two, and knit it off. And so you can see I'm pretty loose here. We are on peg one, over peg one and two, and knit them off. Peg one, over peg one and two, knit them off. And uh, I've got quite a few videos on owl eye stitch. So if you want to see the stitch done more, um, you just go to my channel and uh, pick one and you'll be able to see the stitch done more. So we're on peg one over peg one and two. Knit it off and again. And then we just knit the last pegs. And then we're just going to turn around, go over the pegs again, and knit them off. And do the second row of owl eye. And 
And you get going pretty fast on this stitch. Remember to keep it loose. Okay, and now we're going to start the lightning ridge stitch. Okay, so these two pegs are always together and we're just going to knit over them like this. Okay, now they're completed working with them. We're going to go over to the next set of pegs and these are marked with a, a green band here. And we're going to go over the first one, behind the second one, and then in front of both of them. And then we're going to knit them off. And we have one strand here to knit off and two strands here to knit off. And then we're between the two pegs we just worked. We go over the second one and then we go right over to the first one in the new set. And then we go behind and in front and wrap the two in the next set. So we've just used this, this yarn to come over here. Then we wrap that one and then we wrap these. Here we are. Go between the two pegs, go in front of the second peg, go in front of the first peg in the next set, behind and then in front of the next set and knit it over. And then we're going to go in front of this next one, but because we have this new set we're working on, at the end we just knit this one off. Then we come over here. And now what we do is we purl the first peg here. So when we're doing the end pegs, we always purl the first one in the set on the way over. Then we knit it and we come back over one and two. And this is what's going to keep it from curling. Okay, and then we go over to the first set and what do we do? We always go over the first peg, behind, and then in front of the two and knit off the yarns that are there and then knit that off. Then we go in front of second peg, in front of the first peg from the next set over, then behind it, in front of the two, and now we're going to have three yarns all the way through to knit over except for the two sets that are beside the end pegs. There's three strands here to knit over and one strand over here. And then we go in front of this one, in front of the next one, behind and across. And if you can take all the loops over at once, you can. And I need to be pushing them down. And then we go over this one and because we're on the end pegs, we just knit it over. Now we purl the first peg on the way there of the, of the set of two at the end. And then we go over that peg and then we just come around and knit over the two. And that's our end. And we come over to the next set, go in front, behind and over and just knit them over. And we go in between the set we just did in front of it, in front of the next one and knit them over. There we go. We have three here to come over. Two, three. Okay, we're going to keep this really close so you can see it now. In between these two pegs that we just did, working yarn goes in front of the number two peg, in front of the first peg of the new set, behind it and across both of them like that. Then you knit it off 
and here you have the three loops. You can knit them off all at once or one at a time if you need to. And then we come in between and we just wrap over this one because we're at the end, come to the end, and we're going to purl the end. And knit over this last peg. Okay. And then I'm going to just working yarn over the two, knit them off, and we're done with oops, the end peg. Picked up a little bit of elastic there. Go to the, the next set here, go in front of it, behind, and across. and just knit them off. Then we're going to go in between, in front of the number two peg, in front of the first peg of the next set, behind, across, and then we're going to have all these strands here to knit over. We're not going to go, I'm going to do even two at once and then the, the next one. And knit this one over. And then in between the two, in front of that one, in front of the new one, number one, and across, and knit it over. There, just like that. And knit this one over. Go in front of it, knit it, come over here, purl the first peg, and flat knit over this one nice and loose in front of them both and knit over. Okay, we are on the next set in front, behind, and then across to knit the two together. Then in between the two in front of number two, in front of number one in the next set, behind it and over it. And just knit them off. And in between the two, in front of number two, in front of number one, behind and across them and knit them off. And then we just go over the next one. We do the purl. There we go, and we do the end peg. And then let's just take a look at how it's looking. Well, there we go. There's our lightning ridge coming. Two ridges are coming. Here's what our ends look like. And the sides. There, let's see if we can get this in a good viewpoint. The sides are a braided look. And here's this, ah, turn this way. Harder to get this one at the right angle, but that has a braided look too. There's our cast on edge. There. <laughs> there, there we go. There, there, that light adjusted that time. And there we see it, and we can see the braid here better now. Yes, we can, there it is. Okay, and um, do it a little bit longer so you can see it. But there it is coming. So here we are. Make sure you can see this really good. There's remember the little gear that's down there in the right hand corner if you need to slow this down. But you're always going to go in front of peg one. Then you're going to go behind peg two and then in front of both of them and then just knit them off. And then you're going to go in front of the second peg, in front of the first one of the new 
set of two, wrap it, and knit them off. And in front of the second peg, in front of the first one, between the two, and knit them off. In front of the second peg, in front of the first peg. Whoops, <laughs> no, I went too far, didn't I? So what do you really do? You just go in front of this peg and knit it off and come here and do your purl. What happens when you're not paying enough attention to what you're doing? <laughs> okay, and knit that over. Come in front and knit these two. Okay, so let's do another row to be sure that you know how to do the stitch. We're going to go over the first one, behind the second one, in front of the two of them, and just knit them over. in front of the next one, in front of the, the first one in the next set, behind and over, and just knit it off. And in front of this one, in front of the next one, behind it, cross, and just knit it off. And then just come and knit this one because we're at the end. First peg going this way gets a purl. And knit over. And then we would come back by going over both of these. And then we would go on to the next peg. Let's just stretch this out and take a look at it. And you can see the braiding really nice on the edges. Here's the stitch starting to pop out. And there's your lightning coming down here. And here's your ridges. I'll just stretch it out there so you can see the pattern better. And there you go. So that's how you do it. And so I will um, go back to my other piece and I'll work on it for a while, maybe even to the end. We'll see how far I get. And then we will bind it off when I'm, uh, I'm done with the length I want. So, okay, we'll be back in a little while. Okay, so here we are. We got pretty long. There's where we started. Uh, we're way, 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 way up here. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to do our two rows of owl eye and then we're going to bind it off. So um, of course you remember how to do owl eye. So it's peg one over peg one and two. Knit it off. And peg one over one and two, knit it off. So that's all you do. One and two, and knit it off. So when we get to the end of this, we'll just do the regular sides we do with owl eye. And then our bind off is going to match our cast on. Um, at least it's the best match I've seen. And there's no way to get 100% absolute match, but the best two I've seen for looking alike. So yeah, we'll just go 
go like this. Come back. And I will just meet you up at the other end. Okay, so I reached the end of the row and I took the working yarn and I ran it down to the end and back and down again so that it's about close to three lengths and I cut it. So then I'm just going to thread it through this needle. There we go. Okay. Now we're ready to bind off. So here we are on peg one and we're just going to go over to peg two and take the needle and go down peg two. And kind of snug it up and then we're going to go up the loop on peg one and snug it up. We want to keep this pretty tight and then we go between peg one and two and to the front between peg two and three and we go down peg three. We go down the new peg we haven't worked and then we go back up number two. And keeping it snug and then between two and three, behind three and we go down the new peg which is peg four. We snug that up and then we go up peg three. So we're always going up the peg before then between the two pegs we just work down the new peg and then up the peg before. So always behind, down the new peg and up the peg before. Okay, so we just continue on in that fashion. I'll do one more. Down the new peg, up the peg before, behind, and then we start going down the new peg. So I'll just finish off till I get there and I'll meet you back there. Okay, so here I am. I just went that did that peg so I go around and I go down this peg and up this peg. I'm sure I snug that all up and then I'm just going to go down this peg And come back through it and then just tighten that up. Okay. And then we're just going to take it off the loom hook. There we go. I'll just meet you up at the end. You don't need to see me take it off every loop. Okay, I have them all off and then once you have them off you just sort of you know, loosen them up a little or do this a bit just because they were so tight on there. And then there you go. You've got this braided look 
and um, okay well we match up with this side for for size really good okay they're both the same and um, got the stretch stretch and um, we look at them and see this is really really a close match the other sides look quite similar so that's really good and um, here's what our stitch looks like very long piece and our sides look like that the braided look the back looks good and the and there and all we have to do now is sew in this end I've got the needle here I already did sew in this end I can never wait <laughs> so we're just gonna sew in this end so we're just gonna basically just weave it in so here we are right here and we're just gonna go down somewhere through to the wrong side there we go okay and then um, just weave it in somewhere where we don't think we'll see it and it will just sort of blend in try to follow the pattern a little bit And I'm going to stay where the color is the same. And then um, you can just leave it like that. I'm actually going to put a little knot in it though because I just always want to be extra, extra cautious. And uh, not have my work come undone. There. And then now uh, you just cut it and that's it. You're all done. So. There we go, all sewn in, and our, uh, don't lose my needle, our scarf is all done, and um, we stretch it out, and how I like to stretch out scarves, just stretch it out a bit, is just to kind of fold them and just stretch a bit, and uh, yeah, get them. But I stretch it pretty much as I went, and so, there we go. Pretty long, so it's hard to get it all in the video, but it's, it's a really pretty scarf. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and until I see you again, bye.